So if you're a dedicated PC gamer like me, you're probably not content to just amass a collection of games through Steam. No way, no. You're probably getting your games through other stores as well. And if you've got an Amazon Prime account, you've probably seen that there's a bunch of free games that you can redeem each month across multiple stores too. For instance, I got a GOG key for Bioshock for free because of my Amazon Prime subscription. But how do you actually use these games on your Steam Deck? Well, that's what this video is gonna talk about. Keep in mind that for this video, I'm using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard connected to my Steam Deck just to make the process simpler and a little bit faster. But all of this is possible to do with just the built-in controls. If you get to a point where the right trackpad is no longer controlling your mouse cursor, you can hold the Steam button down and it will put the right trackpad into mouse mode while you're holding it. You can also hold the Steam button and press X to bring up the virtual keyboard at any point. Now, there are two great ways that you can get GOG games on your Steam Deck, and we're gonna cover them both. And then we're going to review the pros and cons of each method, so stick around to the end of the video for that. The first option is Heroic Games Launcher. Heroic is a separate application from Steam, but it also offers great flexibility and control over the games that you have installed, how they're launched, and their Proton configuration. If you like having control and you don't mind a few other minor inconveniences, then Heroic is an excellent option. The first step to getting set up is to switch over to desktop mode. Hit the Steam button and then go to Power, switch to desktop mode. Now that we're at our desktop, let's open up the Discover store. If it's not down here on the taskbar, then you can click the deck logo and search for Discover. Next, let's go here and apply any updates that are pending. This can take a few minutes. Finally, in the search field, type in Heroic Games, and it should be the first result. Once it's done installing, I recommend going into the deck menu, the start menu for lack of a better word, and search for Heroic Games, and then right click on it, or left trigger if you're using the deck's controls, and then select Add to Steam. This will enable you to launch Heroic Game Launcher from game mode. Now let's launch Heroic and click the Login button. This will allow you to sign into your GOG account, as well as your Epic Games and even Amazon Prime account. Go ahead and get logged in here, and then let's head to the library page. Now I'm gonna install a few games here, Bioshock and SimCity 2000. Now given the fact that GOG stood for good old games, I'm gonna try SimCity 2000 first. It's one of my favorites. It'll ask about which version of Proton you wanna use, and then you can just select yes here. After a few moments, the game should launch, and there it is, SimCity 2000. It's pretty neat. Let's see about Bioshock. Now, again, we have the usual installation process, and then the game launches. Now, Bioshock is only rated gold on ProtonDB, and it does have some graphical issues as well as some audio ones. But you do have control here, and that's one of the most important things. Now at any point here, we can head back into game mode. We can navigate to library, non-Steam games, heroic games launcher. And once you've got it started, you can launch any game from your GOG library. To get back to heroic while you're running the game in game mode, you can hit the Steam button. You'll see heroic games launcher here at the top of the options on the left. Now go into this menu, and then at the bottom of this list, you should see heroic games launcher. Selecting this and hitting A will bring you back into the launcher and you can get back into the game by going back through the same menu and selecting the game you have running. Now, I wanna point out here that if you find Heroic Game Launcher worth your while, you can support them on Patreon or Ko-Fi. Heroic Games Launcher is a truly awesome utility and Linux gaming would be worse off without them. Now, at the top of this video, I mentioned that there are two ways of getting GOG set up on your deck. The first way, Heroic, is simpler to get started with. The other is a little bit more involved, and it's also not free like Heroic is, but it does provide a way to get your GOG games feeling a little more at home on your Steam Deck. To get started, you'll need to set up Decky Loader. Now, I've made a video about that, and you can check it out up here. This step is critical, so if you don't have Decky Loader installed, make sure you check out that video, and then come back to this one once you've got everything set up. For the next step, you need to be in game mode. Once you're in game mode, push the quick access menu button, and then go to the plugins tab. Here you should see the store icon in the top right. Open that up and then search for Junk Store. Go ahead and install it. This plugin initially only gives us access to Epic Games, which you're free to take advantage of at your will. 
But if you want GOG here, there are a few more steps we need to take. So let's drop into desktop mode. Hit the Steam button and then go to Power, switch to desktop mode. Now let's open up your favorite web browser and head to one of the links in the description. Choose between Junkstore's either Patreon or Ko-Fi pages. You can either become a patron of their campaign and contribute monthly, or you can buy the GOG extension for a one-time payment for $6. Once you've made your purchase, download the latest version of the GOG extension and then open the zip file. Now open up Dolphin, the file manager, and go to your home folder. Next, find Homebrew, Data, Junk Store, and finally extract the files here. Now, let's click Start and Log Out. Once you're back in game mode, let's hit the quick access button again, and then navigate back to Plugins, Junk Store, About. Finally, let's go to the Dependencies tab and hit Install Dependencies. Once this is complete, we're ready to install games from our GOG library right into our Steam Deck. Go back to the Junk Store plugin, then select Games. At the top of the screen, you should see supported stores, including GOG and Epic. On the GOG tab, you should see a Login button. Let's hit that button, and then let's fill out our credentials. After a few moments of loading, you should see your GOG library appear. Once your games are installed, you can launch them from this screen, or you can go to the non-Steam game section of your library. To manage compatibility settings, you can highlight the game you want to manage, hit Start, select Properties, then go down to the Compatibility tab. Check the box labeled Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and then from the drop-down menu that appears, select which version of Proton you want to use. It's really that easy, and if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that like button. I post new videos every Monday and Friday, so get subscribed so you don't miss them. You can also support the work that I'm doing here on Patreon or as a YouTube member. Now, let's get to the pros and cons. Aside from the obvious differences of UI and the ease of installation, why would you want to use one of these solutions over the other? Well, the way I see it, there are two big things to consider. Junk Store offers a simple and easy way to get a game installed into your Steam library where Heroic does not. But you might ask why is that important? And the answer is because games installed through Junk Store can have their own individual Steam input profiles set. It might not sound like a big deal, but it can be a real hassle. And there are ways that you can do this with Heroic, but it's much more of a manual process. Junk Store also uses the native Steam Play support afforded by Steam. This means that managing which version of Proton the game runs through is a breeze, but it's also kind of limited. Heroic, on the other hand, gives you many more options when it comes to setup, and if you need finer controls, I think Heroic's the way to go. So that's the video. No matter which option you decide to go with, you've now got access to your GOG library on Steam Deck. Even better, both of these options should work on other Linux distros as well. Now, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members. These folks over here, they make the work that I do possible. You can find details on how you can get your name listed here with the link below. I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.